to Capitan Morgan Four Games. I am a member of the Iggy Beers 40k Wargamers Unification Group on Facebook. I'll pop a link in the description below. This is the place to get your fix of anything 40k related. Welcome, and this today's video is about the uh, chapter through 2019 and concentrating on the Maelstrom of War missions in that. The Maelstrom of War, in my opinion, offer uh, something new. Uh, there's a deck building element which can be quite tactical. Uh, so let's go through it quite quickly. Minimum of 18 tactical objective cards needed. You can't have any more than one copy of any uniquely named objective. And you can have, you have a hand of five. And then you put three of those from your five into play. You've got some strats to go with it. Reprioritize. Discard up to two cards and draw a new one for each one you discard. Tactical foresight. Look at the top three cards of the objective deck. Put them back in any order and of your choice. Top or bottom of that deck. Uh, determine push. Set up to three tactical objectives from your discard pile and shuffle them back into the deck. Quite good. Now, at the beginning, uh, when you're building, when you get your hand of five, you can discard some of those if you don't like them and draw new ones. Otherwise, you can only just discard it. Morale phase each time. Uh, so let's go into the deck building. Now I'm going to use there are two two cards that I'm pretty sure you you can drop straight away from the deck, which is domination. Control every objective marker on them. That's quite hard to uh, to achieve, especially. Uh, and it's one that, you, especially as the game goes on, uh, maybe first turn possible, but it's putting a lot of units into danger. And priority orders, one that needs to be achieved by your warlord. That again uh, puts your warlord in danger. Could give up, slave a warlord, first blood possibly, and that's two two points for scoring maybe not many points with it uh, in return. Uh, I'm going to go through my Thousand Suns deck and my Orcs and just tell you the big cards I've dropped before that I dropped against maybe Nick, Nick, Nick Beers, Nick Grons. So for that, I would have dropped the Thousand Suns, I would have dropped priority or Orders received. Hold the line. I don't want anything in my back line. My, my, my list doesn't allow for that. Advanced domination, area denial, witch hunter, and psychological warfare. Yeah, that's the thousand suns. Uh, the orcs one is quite interesting. It's get them boss, where it's your warlord slays a model, or if he's, or, and more. Here we go. Up to three units get have to charge to score a point. Up to five have, for D three points. It's quite a bit, and you're you're risking quite a bit for for that. And maybe in late get late game that might work a bit, but it's not one that I'm happy to score. Um, it's one I'm happy. Psychological warfare. <laughs> you tell me when my next one's going to fail a morale test. <laughs> Priority orders. Domination and Witch Hunter, which are the obvious ones, because Nick does. No, Necrons don't have psychic powers. Uh, domination, as I said, is before you're trying to control every. Uh, you're spreading yourself quite, quite thinly across the board. And uh, priority orders that again yeah, is achievable, but only by a warlord, and that's a that's a big risk. Uh, they have a they have a generic ones I drop straight away from my my list, uh, and then you go through you depending on your opponents. Uh, 
uh, which, you know. Now. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it all depends on you and you're going to be building your deck once you've seen your opponent's list. But I would be taking things like domination priority orders. If you're not a gun line, I'd be taking hold the line out. And if you're you're not a uh, melee and want to get into, I'd be taking advance out. Uh, if you haven't got a great number of models, uh, area denial is probably one that you don't want. <laughs> Pretty much from what I did with my thousand sons, then they're not going to be able to deny somebody the centre of the board. Whereas my orcs possibly could. Uh, 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 and I, I've automatically discarded a couple out of the orc list, which was getting boss, and here we go because they they just seem quite hard to achieve. Whereas a lot of the thousands of armed ones are quite easy to achieve, especially the cabal, cabal power, cabal one where you have to you score points for every two two points uh, two successful psychic powers and up to a ma maximum of six points that, that's quite easy to achieve with seven thousand suns so it, it all, all depends on those sort of things but uh, what i'll do is i'll come back after i've played nick and give you a rundown of how how that worked so having played nick my my deck was good uh trouble is i didn't get you uh, get, get to use it very much because i died by turn three but that was because i didn't get first turn my list is designed for first turn uh but it's turn two i scored highly with my deck which is i scored nine points in the turn had I had anything left, I, I probably would have scored more. Uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. But I was happy with the deck and the way it was built. Thank you for watching. If you have been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also feel free to share anything you've enjoyed remember everybody knows the dice are loaded